a great cause for celebration. Thank you. And you're surrounded by members of your family and certain friends who have come to share that great moment with you. Thank and you. to let you know how much, not only we celebrate the 100 years, okay. but how much they love you. Yes, no, thank you. Celebrating his long life and extending best wishes. Happy birthday to Mr. Lewis. Thank you all. Congratulations. I'm certain your family know you well, and they know a lot about you. Yes. I want you to tell me what it's like to live for 100 years, have a cause for celebration. In the grace of God, I'm very happy. I know that I'm alive to reach 100 years old. And through me and my family, and my children, my grandchildren and my great grands, we all make one, one bond. Well, the family, family is the most important to me. unit in life. Yes, thank you. I'm glad that you're surrounded by a wonderful family. So, congratulations again. Thank you. Yeah. Um, It is my distinct pleasure to celebrate my adopted father, Siebert Lewis. Papa Lou, as I refer to him, is a man of God first and foremost. His life is truly an example of the characteristics of a godly man. Faithful, committed, loyal, hardworking, reliant on God and strong in faith. I was introduced to this wonderful man in 2004 by his now deceased wife, to whom I refer to as Mama Lou. And it was an introduction that has led me to one of the strongest male-to-male -male relationships I have ever experienced. Papa Lou is not my biological father but he is a father to me. He has provided me with immeasurable support and love over these last 20 years. He has been a blessing to me and my family. He has opened his heart and home to all of us, so much so that I am one of the few who has a key to his home. I am free to sleep there whenever I choose. I am free to do whatever I please because he always reminds me, it's okay, Raj, don't forget, we are family. So, I salute you this morning. Thank you. I thank God for the blessing that you have been, not only to me, but to countless other persons. And I want to remind you of what Psalm 1 says. So as blessed is the man who walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful, but his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law doth he meditate both day and night. And he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves will never be. And we are certainly blessed today to see that when we look around so many grands and great grands, you are a testament of what a Psalm 1 man is. You are indeed blessed. God has favored you. You've reached a milestone that many have not reached. And I pray that God will continue to bless you with wisdom and understanding and many more years. So God, continue to bless you. I love you. <laughs>